How do you all? Lovely to see you all again. I was going through some old lessons and I saw a sweet child of mine. I thought, you can do better than this, Chris. You can do a lot better. I also failed to do the first two solos. So in this lesson, we're going to be looking at the first post-chorus and the second post-chorus solo. And then uh, we'll save the big delicious solo for the next lesson. So without further ado, I'll do a quick run through of both of those solos and we'll get cracking on some learning. So let's take a look. So before we get too excited, I just want to talk about the tuning, which is E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and another E flat. So get yourself in tune, and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's have a look at the first section. I want to start off with a pull off from 14 to 12 on the third string. And I'm going to hit 11 after that. I'm going to give it some sexy vibrato, and I want to do that whole idea twice. I'm going to do exactly the same thing at the start. I'm going to do another pull off from 14 to 12, but then I'm going to jump to 14 at the fourth string. I'm going to do this idea twice as well. So let's try that whole thing thus far. Okay, then after that, we're going to work into this phrase. Let's slow that down. At the start of that, I've got another pull off from 14 to 12. And then I go. What I'm doing there is I'm doing a bend on 14 of the third string, bringing it down, and then jumping to 12. So I'm going all together. At the end of that, I want to do another bend from 14 of the third string. And then I'm going to play 15 of the second string as a regular note, and then hit it again, and then bend it. So we go. So this is what we should have thus far from the start. At the end of that, I'm just going to add a big fat bend from 14 of the fourth string, and I bend that down. So we're going a full tone bend from 14 of the fourth. That's the whole solo. Let's do it one more time and we'll do it even slower since abs. the same way that we did in the very first chunk of the first solo. We're going to do a pull off from 14 to 12 and then hit 11 and do that idea twice. And we're going to do the next part which is exactly the same from 14 to 12 and jumping to 14 of the fourth string. We're going to do that twice as well. It's going to change from this point however. So this is what we're going to add the variations. We're going to add in this phrase. here is a pull off from 14 to 12 on the third string and I'm going to do that twice in a row so we go two three four then I get my middle finger and jump to 11 of the third string I do a bend in and out up the semitone and then I want to jump to 12 of the fourth string at the end of that 
I'm going to do that semitone bend again with my middle finger. But while I'm sustaining it at the top, I'm going to hit 10 of the first string. So we're going to go... At the end of that, I want to bring that middle finger down back to its rest position. Let's try and do the whole section thus far and we'll do it again slow with some tabs. second solo, I want to start off once again doing a pull off from 14 to 12 on the third string and hitting 11. We're going to do that twice. But second 11 is going to be very hot potato, so I'm barely going to touch that and then I'm going to slide from 14 to 16 on the third string. So we're going to go... Barely touching that, I want to hit 15 of the second string twice. And then slide that to 13, and then I quickly jump back to 15 and slide to 17, sort of go. Let's try the whole thing thus far with that slidey business on the second string as well. Okay. From there, I want to hit 17 twice and slide to 15, and then 15 once and slide to 13. So it's going to go. Hopefully that's making sense. We'll add another chunk to it and then put it all together. After that, I do a semitone bend in and out with my middle finger on the 12th fret of the second string. And then I'm going to cross over by playing 12 of the third and 12 of the fourth. So we're going to go. Strum the whole thing thus far and then we'll add the last chunk to it. sense that we're working with this phrase. So what I've got there, from 14 of the third string, I'm bending it up and back, pulling off to the 12. Then I go to another 14 bend on the third string. After that, I want to jump to 15 of the second string, hit it once as a single note. Freaking birds. Hit it <laughs> once as a single note, and then the second time as a full tone bend. So we go. At the end of that, I've got a big bend from 17 of the second string. Whilst I'm sustaining that, I want to hit 17 of the first string with my pinky. So I'm bending up and just playing that cheeky pinky note on the first string. So from that last little chunk, let's try the whole thing thus far from the start. Apologies about the fripping birds. Let's try that all one more time and we'll do it even slower with some tabs. solos from Sweet Child of Mine. If you guys have enjoyed that, stay tuned for the big delicious solo at the end coming very soon. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch y'all really soon.